Good morning everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, what I've got for you is a video about the brand new weekly objectives. If you guys are looking to buy FIFA coins with fast delivery and cheap prices, or open up FIFA packs on a brand new website for real coin totals, check out FIFACoinZone.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off. Let's get the cat out of the bag first. Well, as you can see, I'm on a brand new account. This is my brand new main account. We all know why I've got a new account. I don't want to explain it again, uh, but this is my brand new main account and uh, I will be doing the weekly objectives and everything on this account. So no longer are you going to have to complain and be like, Ryan, we can't do it because you've got a God Squad. That's how you do it every week. Well, no, I'm going to be on the same level, you know? But last night I did open some packs for the uh, for the brand new team of the season. So I'm going to play those for you real quick and then we're going to get into the actual video. 29,000, we've got 16,000 FIFA points, which means we can open up a solid eight. Now we want to see some walkouts and we're starting off with a solid walkout. It's a blue, very good start. Come on, I see something good. Argentinian, centre-back. It's not going to be a league and team of the season, sadly. It's going to be Sigali or Sigali. Don't know how to say this guy's name. It's a blue, but it's only an 87-rated team, team of the season from Argentina, sadly. It's not going to be uh, like a Di Maria or a decent player like that, so unfortunately. It's going to be um, one we don't really care too much about. We've got back-to-back -back walkout. Let's see back-to-back -back blues. It's another blue. Come on, EA, please. Let's go. It's going to be another one from this Latin America. It's going to be Valdez, who again, 80 pace, not too bad. Not the worst looking card in the world. Not the best, um, but it's all right. It's not too horrendous. Let's have a look. Um, and Skriniar and Ribery to walk out. Good start. Come on. It is a blue. Come on, please. Ligon. It's going to be Argentinian. Striker this time. It's going to be uh, Boo or Bao or Bo. Sadly, it's not a center forward that we were looking for there with the Argentine uh, team of the season. But uh, we'll take another blue yet again. Oh, another, again, like a, another pack that looks decent is going to be the blue Benzema Real Albiol. So the three objective players are Buenanote, uh, Envia, and we also have Tots Dembele. Now, I've already done Dembele. I always do the squad battles one straight away because it's incredibly, incredibly easy, in my opinion. And I even did this with a, a very poor team. So if I can do it with a poor team, trust me, guys, you guys can do this pretty easily. Now, this is a decent-looking striker card, if you ask me. Good composure, decent dribbling, decent shooting, um, decent physical as well. He's six foot with 91 jumping, 99 hand accuracy, 97 strength. I feel like you guys would probably have uh, a lot of fun with this card. I'm actually going to try this card out in, in, in Rival as well. I, I actually am going to try it out. Um, in terms of this one though, it's win four squad battles matches using 11 league and conformer players. Now, I am going to combine these two basically uh, because they have the same wording, which is nice. Um, so, I am going to be... Oh, sorry. They have... I say they have the same. You, you'll understand in a second. Uh, I'm going to be combining these two though. Um... Because they are pretty easy to do in, in, in two different sittings with the same sort of team. Uh, now, Envia is score using league and plays in four separate rival wins. Now, that is a lot easier than the, the scoring with defenders or assisting with defenders. Uh, it's a lot easier than doing it in seven different rival wins. So, EA finally gives us a little bit easier objectives. Uh, and in Via, I have done the exact same team for both of these. I'll be using the same team uh, in rivals. Just with, with the Envia one, I'll be using Dembele. Instead of uh, instead of the striker I had beforehand. Now Buenanote or Buenanot, I don't know how to say this guy's name. If I, hopefully I'm saying it correctly, um, it's win four online single matches using eleven Super League Ar Argentina players. Um, basically, the Argentinian league uh, win eleven games using uh, sorry win four games using eleven of those players. It's worded similar to this using eleven league and players using eleven Super Argentina league. You know what I mean. Uh, so let's get into it. Now this is the team that I use to get Dembele. I'm actually going to be swapping out Balotelli for Dembele up top. Here. Here. Um, and we're going to bring on uh, Dembele there as my main striker. Now, the wording is 11 league and conformer players, meaning you are allowed substitutions. Now, I have got myself some loans for the subs bench, as you guys can do as well in the catalogue. Uh, it's pretty easy. Uh, obviously, not everyone will get a loan R9. I actually got that for uh, for buying the game um, and, and loading the game up on a new account. They just gave me a loan pack and I got Ronaldo in it. So, <laughs> thank you very much, EA. Uh, I actually had to bring this guy on in one game, the last game, because it was against a high rated team um, but you guys can bring on players it's the same with the uh, Buenanote SBC you can bring on players you're allowed to bring on three subs as usual and it like it's allowed you can do it now I've got a low 
Neymar at left wing, uh, and they've got a very, very affordable, cheap team around um, the, the league. Gun. Like, this team is probably like 40, 50k, maybe, at max. It's pretty easy. Uh, I would go with someone like uh, Payet. He got me 14 assists. He's just a very decent cam. I would go with some decent right wing and left wing. Um, I've also got Pepe that you could use. Uh, this card is a decent looking card as well. Um, sadly, doesn't have the stamina, but apart from that, it's a decent looking card. Uh, what I would do personally is just fill your bench with either your good players or loans, build like a 40, 50k team, and then just bring on the players you need to bring on. That is the easiest way to do it. Um, obviously, you guys can make it a lot easier on yourself if we go to squad battles and you just refresh your opponent's list until you get easy opponents. Uh, my first game was a 9-0 against this team. Very, very easy. Uh, my second game was a 6-0 against this team. Again, very, very easy. I had one game as well um, before this opponent selection that was against another bronze team. Um, then I had to bring on R9 for this one. Um... Professional difficulty is not that difficult. You can beat professional difficulty. It's just going to be a little bit of a slog. So you just have to, if you have loans, bring them on. If you have decent players, bring them on. Um, that is the only thing. Or you just wait. You just wait until you have a, I have an opponent uh, update in 38 minutes. Uh, you wait until you have an opponent update. Press RT, update your opponents and just play the teams that look a lot more like this. If you are struggling against the good team. If you're struggling for coins or players in your club, I highly recommend doing the, uh, the Dembele uh, one first and then bringing on Dembele or starting Dembele to do the MV one. Uh, I will personally do both of them. If we actually look at the cards, MV looks like a really, really nice card. Like he looks like a solid, solid card. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think you can uh, use apostrophe. So we're going to have to go to uh, uh, Toulouse. Did he play? No, it's not Toulouse, is it? No, is it Toulouse? I don't think it is. It's, uh, I forget what team he plays for here. This is a little bit embarrassing. I'm sorry. Um, is it Asse? Yes, there we go. Uh, so this is what the MV card looks like. It actually looks like a really good start at centre mid, like for a team around this time in the year. Um, if you don't have a lot of coins, this card will be so, uh, solid for your teams. Uh, very decent physical stats, decent defending stats. Um, he's got decent work rates in medium, medium. If you're playing him as CDM, he'll probably just stay around the right area of the pitch. He looks like a very cheap... Uh, budget version of Patrick Vieira, if you ask me. Um, so I personally would give him a go if you guys don't have amount of coins to buy like a Patrick Vieira or someone a little bit more expensive. Just give him a go, honestly. I would I would personally give him a go. Being six foot with 81 jumping and 95 aggression, you'll find he wins a lot of headers. Uh, the 95 aggression is very pivotal here. 93 stamina, 86 strength. It is a solid card, and I'm definitely going to be doing it because I want to actually be using this card in my team. I'm probably going to be going with a, a Ligue 1 slash uh, Syria hybrid at some point. So I think that's what I'll be going for with my first weekend league next week with uh, this account. Um, so I would personally go for that if I were you. What I would say is one of those cards, it's an 88 rated team that season at the end of the day for an SBC if you are looking to do a, uh, uh, like a guaranteed SBC um, he doesn't have the 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 most of, of, of height he's five foot three however He's got decent in-game stats. He's got 99 agility in balance. Uh, he's got 87 jumping, which really doesn't matter when you're 5'3". But he's got 94 stamina. He's got decent shooting stats. Sadly, only a 78 composure. But if you're looking for either someone that's going to be a pretty decent cam super sub, this this guy will be a decent super sub at cam. Um, or you're just looking for someone to put into an SBC. For four games, it's worth just shoving first goal wins in your team name and then building a budget Argentinian league team uh, and just giving it a go. Um, I packed last night that Boo card or Bauer. I don't know how to say this guy's name. Uh, I packed him last night. I'll be shoving this guy up top in a first goal wins and just trying to score a goal and hope for my opponents quit. Now, sometimes people don't quit. That's where I urge you guys to put really OP players on the bench. If people don't quit after the first goal, you just have to sweat it out against them because they are horrible people that don't deserve the game. I hate people that don't quit when they have first goal wins as their team name. Obviously, if they don't have first goal wins as their team name, they, they, it doesn't matter if they don't quit because they're not they're not opting in for the first goal quit kind of uh, style. So, um, but no, I'll be putting this guy up top and giving it a go around a cheap Argentinian league team. And it's four games, like it's four wins. Sorry, uh, it might take you like seven or eight games, but it's four wins. It shouldn't be too stressful across a week period. Four, okay, uh, sorry, four wins is not difficult at all. Um, and I think, yeah, I've been very generous uh, with the really easy weekly objectives this week uh, for decent looking cards, to be fair, as well. Like, I think Dembele and MV are definitely usable cards. Um, 
Like I said, Buenote would be a decent super sub as well. If you're playing a 4-2-3-1 and you need a wide cam that's got a lot of pace, he could come on and be that wide cam. Uh, I just think that EA, have, you know, they've been pretty decent with this. I'm excited for next week, next week's weekly objectives. Uh, with the ultimate tops being out, we'll see exactly what we get from that. Uh, but I think that EA have been very generous with the weekly objectives this week. Uh, and uh, hopefully you guys can do them pretty easily. I am going to be going away and getting that Envia card today. And probably Buenote as well. I'll probably get him today as well. I am playing Weekend League on my other account. But I'm only playing to the gold too, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but no, if you guys have enjoyed the video, leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you lads later.